Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm currently just about to make a drink and a snack so I thought it would be a great time to start the new vlog. So I finished the last one yesterday, I'm having, I'm having apple and elderflower sparkling water if you're curious. So it's currently Sunday afternoon. We have just taken winter for a walk and it promptly rained very badly. So we had to bring him home very quickly because he wasn't ups he wasn't happy with the state of the weather. So he is now in a grum with us. But what can we do? I don't control the weather. So my spa day plan is that I wanted to first of all do a Olaplex treatment and cut my hair and I ended up actually doing that last night so that's all done and dusted and then mm, that's so nice sorry this is such a chaotic start to a vlog after the hair the plan was if you've seen my last vlog you will know plan was that I was going to have a massage and I had booked somebody to come and do that but unfortunately they have had a family emergency so they aren't coming so the massage is off the uh, table today if you mind can so I'm going to be doing what am I gonna do I'm gonna do like a little like facial so basically just a, a complicated skincare routine I'm gonna do a pedicure uh, and I think that's pretty much it really because I had my nails done the other day so they don't need touching and like I said I did my hair last night so basically I'm going to be doing skincare facial kind of thing and a pedicure but I've also decided today <laughs> that I think we should go on a little holiday to Cornwall this summer because um, I was watching this girl's reels on Instagram and she was in Cornwall and it looked so beautiful and I decided that we should go so I'm going to be trying to con Philip into booking a hotel in Cornwall with me today at the end of August the people that I work for are going on holiday so I will have a little bit of time off work so I'm thinking if we book it then then I don't have to take any time off work and it will be a win-win. So here is the finished snack and I'm actually not really hungry right now so I should have probably waited and made it later but I guess I can just pick it throughout the day. Um, maybe Philip will help me. Philip, are you gonna help me? No. Okay. <laughs> Lucky night. Good morning, my angels. So it's currently Tuesday. Um, I basically vlogged nothing yesterday because I got up, I went to work, we went to Aldi on the way home, and then I did some more work when I got home. So obviously not a very exciting day and there was nothing to show you anyway, so I just didn't but hopefully there will be some more fun stuff today because i've just had some stuff arrive for a couple of paid posts that i'm working on this week and i have i think two other like tiktoks slash reels that i want to film today i am currently just reading through the finer details on a contract that i'm looking at signing which i still oh, i can't find the good camera angle is this it no, but it's gonna work. I'm just reading through the details, but I am, I think, about to sign a very exciting contract with a modeling agency. I don't know whether I can talk about that yet, um, but there you go. Like, the, the child in me is literally screaming because when I was like, eight or nine the very first job that i wanted to do was i wanted to be a model and then i wanted to do nails and then i wanted to be a model and i used to literally like practice like i would watch america's top model and practice my runway which was terrible because i was a child and practice poses and everything 
and then um people told me that i was basically you know too ugly to be a model which eh, i guess it's um what's it called subjective clearly somebody thinks that i can give it a try um what else do i have to tell you oh we booked the holidays on Saturday, so maybe it was in my last vlog. I said that I was going to try and convince Philip to book a holiday in Cornwall with me and that I'm, we were going to book a camping trip in the Lake District. So we have negotiated to a caravan in the Lake District because this space is not one that could do without running water and electricity for three nights or two nights so i can't remember i think we're going to lake district for two nights so we've booked a caravan that's just a little bit north of the lake district and we're going there in july and then last night we booked an airbnb in cornwall um kind of like new key kind of area and we're going there in august very excited there's gonna be lots of cornwall planning now although philip we, we so we booked the airbnb at about one o'clock this morning about 1 30 maybe it is currently 12 20 and philip is already sick of me talking about it which means you guys are gonna to have to listen to me talk about it because this is just who i am as a person like i talk a lot about things that i'm interested in and excited in excited it excited about so somebody's gonna have to listen to me talk about it and if it's not philip it's gonna be you lot also just a quick addition to that um send me all of your cornwall nuki kind of area recommendations please oh my gosh i just finished doing my makeup because i'm getting ready to actually shoot now i've just finished my meals i think i've really gone too far this time with the blush Okay, so first up shooting today is the Panjaya Horizon Collection. How beautiful are these colors? Sorry, Winter is crying. He's been out like four times in the last hour and he just really wants to go for a walk, but he needs to wait till I'm done with work, unfortunately. Um, but yes, look at these colors, how beautiful. I'm so excited to shoot this on. So while it's been really sunny all day, we have sat in the apartment and I have done emails and filmed reels. And now that it's, mm, I guess it's still slightly sunny, but it's freezing now. I am out shooting in a short sleeve dress. What an idiot. I signed the contract today and I'm celebrating with a gin fizz. Well, a fruity gin fizz because I had to improvise with the materials, but. And then we are also celebrating with homemade sweet potato chips slash wedges. They're not kind of thin enough to be called chips or thick enough to be called wedges. And I'm having um, mozzarella and buffalo tomato pizza and Phil's having this vegan um, roasted cauliflower one. She has hidden these little, um, what are they called? Soldiers, Soldiers like military men all over our apartment block for people to find. Sorry, I have medication in my mouth. Please tell me that somebody else remembers. Like, wasn't that a thing in Toy Story? Like, one of the Toy Stories a while ago. Because Phil doesn't remember it, and I'm sure that that was a thing. Anyway, I'm going to town right now because I need to try and get a bra fitting, but I don't think anyone's gonna do one, but I'm gonna try anyway. Um, and I wanna pick up a few bits in Primark for a casting thing that I'm doing later. And yeah, this is my outfit. I'm wearing a little dress from Simply Be and my docks, but I think I'm gonna really regret this because it's so much colder than it looks. Like, look at the sun. But it's got teeth, it's cold. So I'm just in Zara picking up um, a couple things. I was looking for a black vest that I could wear in um, casting tapes. I don't have any trousers with me, so like my dress is around my waist. Um, and I tried this on, but I feel like it's got a weird gaping thing going on here, which is strange. Um, don't think it's the one. I also really wanted to try this out because I saw uh, Beck Watkinson wearing this 
um, recently and I thought it was really cute. I feel like I just need like a sports bra or something in it though because my boobs look too big. I know. I feel like maybe I need the next size up but they don't have the next size up and I'm worried the next size up would look too big. Also it feels so strange to be in changing room. So Philippa's just picked me up and we've come home and we're now going around the apartment block on the hunt for soldiers because <laughs> they're everywhere and I don't I don't get why. They're the ones that I showed you guys earlier. So we're now on the hunt. There's one there, Phil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a really cute place to shoot. Like on this um, staircase here. They're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Here. And then over here. This one has fallen down, so we're gonna put him in the lift. Oh, we gotta get in the lift. Well, we'll have to go in the lift. We'll just take the lift. How, where can we put him? Oh, there is one over there, look. We'll put this one so they're shooting at each other. <laughs> oh, we're in now. Oh, it's closed. Now we're in the lift to stay. Hello, Philip. Hello. <laughs> Now that our little treasure hunt is done, I thought that I would show you what I bought in town. I didn't buy very much and it was mainly for work, but I will show you now. Do you want to see your gift? I bought Winter a little gift in Sostrine Green, which is like my favorite shop in the world. This is his new little teddy. I love buying, oh. <laughs> That's so cute, come here, it's for you. He's like, what do you want me to do with it? He's interested, but he doesn't know what to do with it. And then in Primark, I picked up some of their new period pants because I saw somebody advertising them on Instagram and I have been really, really wanting to try some period pants for a while, but I refused to Why are you more interested in the dish scrubber than your toy? When I refuse to sp spend like 20, 25 pounds each on a pair of pants that I don't know if I will like, especially because really you need to buy, I guess at least two or three pairs because if you're gonna try them when you're on your period, then you need a pair to be wearing when they're in the wash. So it felt like such a risk like financially to buy a few pairs in case I didn't like them. So these were six pounds each and I picked these ones up in Primark. I picked them up in a 14 to 16, which typically I'm a 16 to 18, but the next size was 18 to 20, which seemed too big. And I figured that I would rather that they are a little bit on the smaller side than a bit on the bigger side um, and that they'll stretch out a little bit. So I've gone with the smaller size. But anyway, I'm gonna make a full video on those and review how they do next month because I just had my period so it's too late. Then um, I bought a body scrubber so it's like it's basically the same as the dish one but it's for your body. Um, I thought that this would be really good to scrub my legs to try and stop ingrown hairs. What I actually went to town for was literally plain vests because I need to film a casting video later. I got them in like an 18 to 20 because I figured I would rather these are slightly on the bigger side and then I can put them in the dryer. If they're too big, then go on the smaller side because I don't think the fitting rooms in Primark were open. So I have kind of teased it a little bit throughout the vlog, but I wanted to double check and see whether I was kind of allowed to say this before I said it properly. The big contract that I have signed is that as of yesterday evening, I signed a contract to a modeling agency. Who am I? How is this my life? So the agency that I signed to are Clout Model Management. 
um, and I am just so, so excited. They seem to really get me, get who I am, get who I'm about. And I think that it's gonna be the start of a really great working relationship, so I'm really excited. Um, I have done a modeling once before last year for, oh, my plaster's coming off. I have plasters all over my hands for my eczema to try and stop it getting worse. Um, that's a different topic. Um, yes, yeah, so I did work with one brand last year on a shoot. Um, but other than that, I haven't done any other like straightforward modeling work. I've done work um, for brands where I've taken pictures that they've used on their Instagrams and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to explore this kind of new world and I'm very excited to be doing this. So yeah, today, well not today because it's a bit late now, but tomorrow and probably at the weekend a bit, I'm gonna be working on taking some like Polaroid pictures, some digitals, some casting videos and stuff that I can add to my portfolio. And I am gonna be booking in some more like professional shoots to add to the portfolio as well. But that's what the whole thing with the vests was about, that I needed something very plain, very basic to wear in the casting videos that I'll be filming. And yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. That's what's been going on today. Oh, the blue shirt that I showed you guys. I just, I couldn't find it in a double XL in the shop. So I decided to order it online. And very conveniently, they're gonna deliver it, deliver it to the post office that's near me tomorrow. And I'm going to the post office tomorrow anyway to ship some things that I've sold. So very nice timing, so I'll be picking up that tomorrow. This vlog, I think, is gonna end up being a pretty long one. Um, but I just have so much I wanna share with you guys this week. So it is what it is, I guess. Good afternoon. Uh, please excuse the state of me because I'm feeling really ill today. But I wanted to show you my shirt because it came. This is the what the Zara one that I bought the other day. What do we think? I'm getting very like rich housewife on her day at home vibes. And she wants to look casual, but make sure that everybody knows that she's still rich. Kind of vibes. Um, so what did you guys miss? Yesterday I basically sat and replied to emails and edited all day, so nothing interesting there. And then today I was meant to be at work, but I threw up this morning and I didn't want to risk making anybody else ill, so I didn't go in um, and we're gonna, hopefully over the weekend, there won't be any more illness, so I can go back on Monday, because I hate missing work, but um, we will see. So today I'm basically just hanging around the apartment and doing not much because I'm feeling very crappy. Um, but yeah, I'll check in if there's anything actually interesting to tell you, but this is the highlight of my day so far, trying on my shirt. Where can I put this phone? Where can I put this phone? Okay, I'm just gonna do it here in the bad light, sorry. So, uh, I just started editing this video, ready to post tomorrow, and I realized that I don't have an outro kind of thing filmed, so, hi. Sorry, winter keeps barking because our neighbor is screaming. Today, I've got up and shot some campaign stuff for some projects that I'm working on. Uh, we went to town, we had a little bit of a walk in town, and then we took winter out for a walk and I've just cleaned the apartment. I'm now sitting down to edit the vlog. Philip is having a nap and when he wakes up, I think that we're gonna have pizza and onion ring. I'm very excited, pizza's my favorite thing and it's gonna be a good night, I think. Um, so yeah, that's basically all that's going on. It's been kind of a boring end to the week, I think. Hopefully the vlog has some more interesting stuff in from the beginning. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm babbling now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye.